Okay, another quick scientific method type question video. If you look at my beautiful hand-drawn diagrams here, you can see this is something about Earth warming up, climate change, development of drugs, uh, genetically modifying some corn. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, this is a head with question marks. He's saying why this guy is... I have no idea. What is he saying? Oh, says so no. He's holding a sign that says no to GMOs. Yo, is what this person actually is saying. So when it comes to science and looking at different changes and potential developments in research, we have to be able to assess the risk associated with scientific research. Is developing something that seems like a great idea, could it potentially cause other unwanted consequences that may outweigh the benefits so you have to think about that so climate change issues so for example you know limiting carbon dioxide emissions are there other consequences that can come from that or actually increasing the productivity more jobs to the workforce is that going to put more carbon dioxide into the air and is that going to therefore have a longer lasting negative impact on society as well too. Drug research as well too. There's ethical issues that go on there. Genetically modified plants and animals. Sure, it sounds great if farmers could make more corn to feed more people, but what if other plants get affected because we can't control how these actual genetically modified bits of pollen, for example, are moving between some of these organisms and affecting things all around. So you really have to look at the entire gamut of possibilities. For example, for GMOs in 1970s, the first fears of GMOs or genetically modified organisms came about. Lots of debate going on. GMOs are banned in certain countries. They're allowed in certain countries. Chances are you've probably consumed some food that has been genetically modified or used some form of genetic modification. The production of human insulin as a medicinal treatment to help people who are diabetic. The source of that insulin has often come out as a result of genetically modified bacteria bacteria that are producing that insulin. Very interesting. Uh, potential use of GMOs, maybe it's kind of cool right now, but we don't know how potentially cool it could be. Maybe we're waiting for the use of genetically modified organisms that is going to be so groundbreaking that people will be like, okay, yeah, that's totally worth it. If we can cure this particular disease or produce X amount of food, yeah, that could greatly outweigh the benefits. So we have to look at pros and cons of everything. All risks must be assessed in science and in other fields. Questions you should be asking yourself. What is the chance of an accident happening? What is the chance of a harmful accident happening? Like what are the chances of consequences that we would never want to ever have to face actually happening? So you got to think about all these things. How harmful would these consequences be? I just, I just mentioned that as well too. Sorry for my ugly pictures here. I think he was holding a sign that said no to GMOs. Anyways, lots of debate worthy issues that are going on. Science really does creep into every other area of life as well too. So it's important to have a good understanding of the scientific method and be skeptical and always ask questions. Make life better.